Okay, I'm not going to say that word, but that's what it says on the pamphlet the doggie's holding. I thought this was absolutely adorable. It's a vintage cat wind-up toy. I paid $8 for it. He does have a Made in Japan sticker on the bottom of him, so you know he's one of the older ones. Not one of those reproductions that you see a lot of out there. I'm gonna wind it up because he does work, and this is what he does. Isn't that adorable? I couldn't say no to that for $8. I hope you all enjoyed seeing that cute little wind-up kitty toy that I completely forgot about in my last video. So now we're going to check out the small amount of vintage thriftage that I found. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. My thrift stores just have not been getting a lot of stuff. If you all remember, we have a Goodwill store in town that's 99 cents everything. And they just haven't had anything. I haven't bought anything from them in months. And then all the stuff that people, or they want to sell for regular price, they send to another store, which is fine. Maybe I'm just not going on the right days. But most of the vendor malls and the antique malls have been taking my money lately for resale and for me, which is perfectly fine because I find good stuff there. And I can get stuff for pretty reasonable prices, especially because I really look hard. But yeah, let me show you the small amount of thriftage. I thought this was really, really cute. I paid $1.50 for it. It's a cheese platter. There's a brick of cheese here, and there's this little slot here. I don't know what you would put in there, because you can't take it off unless somebody glued it down. Well, it looks like, you know what? It looks like somebody glued it down onto the, uh, the plate, so I may have to try to get it off of there, because it looks like it's something. But it is very, very cool. And there's a lot of talk of cheese in our little community. Now it's got some chippy doodles here or there, but it's still a fun piece. Uh, there is no marking on the back to say who made it. Judging by the like graphics of this, I'm thinking maybe Napco maybe put this out. But again, I could be wrong. Now that I know that this is glued on here, I might have to try to get it off without breaking it. Maybe I'll take some... Uh, I don't know, some goo to goof off, see if I can get the glue off. But yeah, I thought that was really fun for $1.50. And then I saw these really adorable salt and pepper shakers of deer. Now, I didn't see the damage until it, I got up to the register to pay for them, and there was no price on them. So I asked the lady how much were they, and then I said... Oh, no, I don't think I want to take these because it's damaged. And she's like, oh, I just put those out. I didn't even notice it. And then I felt kind of bad, and I said, well, how much are they going to be? And then I think she was like, oh, I don't know. If you really want them, you can just take them because I was going to throw them out otherwise. And I said, are you sure? And she's like, yeah. So I thought that was really nice. So I have a set of deer salt and pepper shakers. This is the one that has the most damage, as you can see. There's a hole on the back of her. It does look like Bambi. They do have Japan, but there's no stamp for Walt Disney Productions on it, so they could be a faux version of Bambi. They're still cute nonetheless. For $3.50, I picked up this vintage sports made in US plastic football helmet wall clock. I haven't tested it to see if it works or not. Hopefully it does. Not exactly sure what kind of money this will bring. I did look it up in store, but I couldn't find it exactly. I've contemplated taking off the stickers because it says Colt John and it's got some stars on it, but then another part of me says, no, leave it as is because somebody might like it that way. Or you might find somebody or know someone that is named John and they like the Colts. So again, I haven't tested it to see if it works. It may go in a live sale. I haven't decided yet because football season is coming to an end. Actually, I think it already has come to an end, because wasn't the Super Bowl not that long ago? 
I don't follow sports, so forgive me for that. But yeah, I I saw it, I thought it was different, and I said, what the heck, let me just go ahead and grab it, and we'll see what I end up doing with it. So to everyone who is afraid of clowns, I am terribly, terribly sorry, but I did find this really awesome Jojo Melons um, crate sticker. Like These would go on the old crates for fruit and produce back in the day. Paid $2 for it. I did get a chance to look it up in the store because I wanted to see if it was a fake. And, I mean, these things are mass-produced. They're everywhere. They're not hard to find. But it was in this frame, and it almost looked like something you would buy at a craft store. But I did look it up. And again, I'm sorry to anybody who is afraid of clowns, but I love the look of him. And it just looks like somebody had it framed, and they stuck the sticker onto the paper that it's on. Creepy clown. Creepy clown. I'm sorry. I, I like clowns, but not every single one that I come across in the wild do I like, but I had to have this because this is old advertising. It's already framed, so I don't really have to do anything to it. And it only cost me two dollars. So again, I apologize to the clown haters, uh, Misty, Katie. I'm sorry if I traumatized you for this little segment of the video, but it was part of what I found that was vintage, so it has to go in the haul. So, like I said, I didn't find hardly anything at the thrift stores, but I did hit two of my local antique malls, and let's go ahead and check out what I found from there. So, since I didn't have a lot from the thrift stores, I thought you all might like to see what I picked up at two of my local antique malls. The first place I visited, I only spent $12.99. One item is not necessarily vintage, so I'm not going to be sharing that with you all. But these are the other two items that I picked up. For $2.25, I picked up a set of hankies. I believe there are three of them in there. And they're in the original box. It doesn't appear that they've ever been used. They've got a really nice design on them. So those will end up in a live sale. Usually I ask about $15 for three-piece sets. So I thought that was a good price. For $4, I picked up this really nice... Um, satin glass or Vaseline glass um, egg dish trinket dish no cracks or chips I really like that blue color and it's got I think what are daisies on the front of it I have yet to figure out who makes this and if it is worth more than the four dollars I spent if you hear an air raid siren in the background I do apologize for that I live near a firehouse and I guess they just tend to test it or they have to go out and protect the public but yeah I thought this was a really nice color the blue I'd really like to know who made it um if I had to guess a date probably 60s possibly um I don't even I don't even have any idea who made this but it is really nice I was thinking about putting it in a spring themed live sale if it was not worth my time to list on eBay so I thought that was a pretty good pickup for $4. Upon further research, I discovered that this egg trinket dish is made by Westmoreland Glass, and these are daisies on the outside. Now, it's a little bit of a lighter blue, or a little bit more of a lighter blue, I should say, than what the camera is picking up. I don't see any of this color listed on eBay, so I might ask upwards of about $20 and take offers from there. But I need to get it listed soon because springtime is coming and I know people definitely want to decorate with this. If it doesn't end up selling on eBay, I will take down the listing or leave it up, put it in a live sale and see if it sells there. And if it does, you just take down the listing. Simple as that. So at the next mall, I spent $54.62. That's the thing with the antique malls is sometimes you will pay up for things but you get better stuff than you will sometimes at the thrift stores or stuff you just don't even see at the thrift stores. So let's go ahead and check out what I got. So again, I'm going to try to remember what I paid for stuff because I just cannot remember if they take the tags off of it, which they do at these malls. I do know that this hanky set was $3.50. New in the box. 
box has got some wear to it, but the hankies are new. This I'll probably wind up asking about like eight bucks for, because it's only two of them, and I think that somebody will really like them. For 25 cents, I believe that's how much this was. Yep, 25 cents. I picked up this really awesome Lexington liquor store matchbook. I don't know if it's a feature. I, let's open it up and see. I highly doubt it is. But for 25 cents, I love the graphics on it. Sorry about all the crinkling. That's what bags do. I kind of just saw it and was like, oh, it's only a quarter. I'll take that. So, yep, Lexington Liquor Shop in New York City. And I don't think it's Matt Ed's feature. Nope. But it's still really cool. Look at the graphics on that. That would be cool for Halloween. What do you think? Focus on that for you all. I think so. So that will just go into my junk jars. I did get two packs of greeting cards. I think they were like a dollar. Oops. Sorry about that. I think these were about a dollar a piece, I think. Uh, let's see. They were probably from the same vendor. I can't remember. Nope, I think these were a dollar each. Yep, a dollar each for these bags. So we'll go ahead at the very end and we'll take a look at these. So it looks like each of the cards that are in these two bags are get well cards, which is perfectly fine because I still like the graphics on them. So this one is of a poodle and it is flocked. It's nice and soft. So it says, so sorry. And it says, hope you're lots better by now. And it says, the Jim Davis family. All right. I love this elephant. Look at that. So it says, feeling better? Wishing, wishing mighty hard. The wishes come true that's on the card. Get well quick. Um, something all love. Oh, we all love Johnny because he is a good boy. Wendy... Or, and Grace? Wendy and Grace, I believe that's what that says. Sorry, I should have brought that up closer for you all. Either Wendy or Cindy. Cindy, maybe that's an initial, and then Grace. We've got this one with kitties on it. Look at that. I love this one. A get well wish, all wool, and a yard wide. Feeling a little bit better today? Here's hoping your answer is yes, and here's hoping you'll feel like yourself again, much sooner than you guess. With all our love, Nana and Grandpa. This one just says, hi, hope you feel better soon. Okay, I'm not going to say that word, but that's what it says on the pamphlet the doggie's holding. This one opens up like this, and it says, This gay little puppy is riding in to say hello, and then to hope it won't be long until you're up and out again from Debbie. So that was all the cards in the first bag. This one says, There's no end. And it's of a dachshund. Look at that. To the wishes this brings you for a speedy recovery. Hope you'll soon be well. All our love, Nana and Grandpa. I want to bet that these probably all came from the same lot. Because the writing looks very identical to some of the other ones we just looked at. But that is just super, super cute. We've got another one of those elephants that say feeling better on it. So that's cute. And we already looked at that so we don't have to open that up again. This one says, things just don't go right. And honestly, that's pretty accurate for me, even though I know that 2 plus 2 equals 4, but if I'm having an ADD moment, or just I'm not thinking clearly, that's, that's very, very accurate. And it says, when you're not around, please hurry and get well. Much all, 
our love, Nana and Grandpa, again. This one would be cute for Easter. It says, you're sick and I'm puzzled. And they did a crossword design with the different words that read out a message. Cause folks nice as you shouldn't have to be sick. But I won't say one word if you get well quick. Sincerely, Mr. and Mrs. Harold E. Brandt. I love the images in these vintage cards. They're just, I, I don't know. I, it's like the vintage magazines. I love looking at them. This one has the three-dimensional eyes where they move. Or what do you, I don't know how to describe that, but the eyes are, yeah. Get well soon, a Humpty Dumpty hand puppet to play with you. And it says, insert a rubber band through the slots at the back of puppet Loop ends over the thumb and third finger as shown above and start dancing. Everyone will dance for joy when you're through being sick and hope this dancing puppet helps you get better quick. Anne Huddle. Again, a very cutesy looking card and they're just fun. So that's all the greeting cards. I got this really awesome 1957 Frigidaire pamphlet for a dollar, and just look at those graphics. Oh, there's the price right there, okay. They just didn't write it. But yeah, you just can't say no to this kind of stuff, because it's just really cool to look through. Or if you have these appliances in your home, and you just want to have it for the kitchen, like to frame it or just keep it out. I mean, this is a really cool piece. Look at that mint green. That, ah, I love mint green. Sorry if this is a little wonky, but yeah, awesome piece of ephemera for a dollar. And speaking of ephemera, this is probably one of my favorite pieces because you just don't get them for this cheap. I got a 1910 Halloween postcard for $8.50. Typically I see these in booths for about 30 to 35 bucks each and I just cannot spend that. I was more than willing to pay $8.50 though. See it says, where did I see? Oh, 1910, right there. For Miss Alice Hopper in Allentown. But look at that. That is just awesome. Now this was originally, I believe it was six. 80 because it was on sale 15% oops let me hold on one second so sorry about that that was really bad uh, videography on my part so this is a 1960 1961 fall and winter catalog from gambles the friendly store I think my mom remembers having this store around when she was a kid and that was in the my mom was a child of the 70s and 80s she was born in 71 and she remembers this, and we were looking at a different magazine a while back, and she's like, it was either Gimbals or Gambles, and she's like, I have not heard that in ages. Now, it's got some really neat stuff in it, like when you open up the front cover and you see all this fun stuff. It looks like it's just been sitting in somebody's basement or something, but it's got really, really great images in it. There's so much stuff to look at, and that's why I love these catalogs. And this is probably the cheapest one I've gotten. I think I've spent upwards of about $23 for one. Not this one, but it was for a uh, Sears and Roebuck Christmas catalog from 1942. I don't mind spending that money on those because you don't see them all the time. And they're just fun to look through. So that was a good find. Now this I really took a chance with. Oops, that's not very good. So I'm gonna pick up my phone here. This is a 1991 US Paratrooper Glencoe model. Unfortunately, the reception in this mall is very bad and I'm not able to look stuff up. So I really have to take my chances with things and this was one that I did. So I spent $5, I looked it up when I got home and it's only worth about 17 bucks. So that's probably what I'll end up listing it for but that's perfectly fine with me because it's still more than what I spent on it. So this was in a booth that didn't have a whole lot in it, but the prices were really, really reasonable. 
paid five dollars for her and she's very elegant and not really my style per se but she's definitely different i mean look at her face now she has a mark on her it says adeline or adeline and the mark on the back says pasadena california florence ceramics and it just says copyright but no date so i don't know what era she's from again i have not researched this so i can't say for sure what era she's from my best guess 50s or 60s but we will see how much she is worth and if not if she's not worth a ton or worth my time to put online she'll definitely be in a live sale probably for a wage war picked up this puda schnuda it's uh made in japan it's i think it's a redware yeah it's redware he was 450 i believe and he'll definitely be up for grabs. Probably about a $14 or $15 item at a live sale. I don't know if this is a dachshund or not, but it's definitely got ears. The longer ears. Maybe it's a hound dog. No markings on it to say who made it. But it was only $2. And again, that'll probably be a $7 or $8 figurine at a live sale. I really liked this planter here. A girl pushing a wheelbarrow. No markings to say who made it. It was $5, by the way. And it's just really... I mean, this would look great for spring vignettes. I mean, it's awesome. Probably a $12 to $14 planter at a live sale. And the last item we're going to be looking at is something that I thought was hilarious. It was $4, it was in a booth that was half off, and it's an ashtray or a trinket tray, and it says, no, you can't touch it, you've broken yours off already. Boy and a girl standing nude. I'm sure you all get what this is saying, so I'm not going to explain it. But I did think it was hilarious, so I had to have it. For about $25 on eBay, I picked up another pack of the 12 Gorgeous Glamour Girl uh, pinups, Series 3. I think I have Series 2 or 1 that I bought from Pamela Blanchard. But, instead of just going through them one by one, to conclude this video, I'll do a slideshow of the different ones. So be sure and let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite item or favorite items that I picked up in this video? So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.